Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Automation Empire. It's the Orbital Automation Empire. That's right, we're back for one final episode where I do wholeheartedly believe, well, first of all, that we can get the uh, the last little sort of research limit. We need to get uh, we need to get grain meal. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge. And also, I do believe that we're going to be able to, to get the, the expert, whatever it is, three-month weight goal, 45,000 kilograms. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but, um, but, but I do believe that it's... Uh, that it's going to be entirely possible to do. Right, so let's start off with uh, with research first. We've already got, I mean, a significant amount of money uh, already. Uh, however, 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 that's not, uh, that's not going to be enough. We're going to need to try and, we're going to need to try and get an extra processing area either in here or alternatively, we stick down a brand new factory over here. In fact, do we want to stick down a brand new factory? I don't think I actually want to stick down a brand new factory. I think it's entirely reasonable that I do all of the uh, the green grain processing in here. So let me see if I can sort of just replicate exactly what we've got going right over here. Uh, There's a space of three in there. And then let me see if we can get this down. So I'm kind of going to try... I'm going to try and do this in the opposite direction. I don't know if this is going to work out in, in, a, in a sense that ends up not working. But let's let's give it a shot anyway, shall we? All right. It doesn't work. All right. Fine. Uh, what I can do is mirror. Yeah, mirror what we've got over here. But we'll do it right over here. Okay. Uh, this is not really making much sense, but it will. It will. Mark my words. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Fantastic. Right, so, down into there, and down there, down there, and down there. We'll get the required bits and bobs, and required bits and bobs over here. Okay, and now this this is going to be fine. Where I want to actually grow the resources is out over here. So we're going to need to get growing platforms probably I don't know how many I don't know how many we're going to need. I mean, how many did we need of the red things? We needed we've got 5 4 yeah, 5 red things, but the red things we're using in order to make ethanol as well. So, I mean, it's not super, super duper essential. Yeah, not super duper essential. Also, we still have an entire... An entire area over here where we're just not using... We're just not taking advantage of the fact that we've got... Uh, we've got an extra area. Perfect. So... We'll put that down there, which will allow us to fill uh, to fill the to fill the train just that little bit more, which is gonna be which is gonna be totally totally grand. Destroy all crates onto all of these guys. That's right. Bish bash bosh. Keep the money coming on in. That's what I'm talking about. Red grain. By the way, what is the ratio? Is the ratio for red grain to for grain meal? Is it just red grain to? Uh, Green, green, green grain? Is that just e equal? Yeah, it's just equal in a combiner. Which is fine, honestly. That's that's totally reasonable. Right. Righty, righty, righty ho. So this is going to chill out over here. That's grand. Uh, where are we going to want to have our factory that makes grain? Maybe over here? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so this is going to come in. We need to try and... We need to try and get it lined up. We need to try and get it lined up with uh, with these dudes here. So we're going to have to suck up from there, suck up from there. And then the track is going to have to go right down the middle because we're not actually going to be able to store any... Uh, we're not going to be able to store any of the... Of the, of the green grass in a vat that is going to be linked to a color coordinated thing. Because our color is going to be... Our color... Our last colored resource, our, ra our last resort remote connector, goodness gracious me, potato, spit it out, man, uh, is going to be linked up over here. In fact, it's not going to be linked up over there, but I mean, I think you can sort of see what I'm trying to do. We're trying to get this there. That's going to link down there, and that can be linked up over there. Perfect. And then... 
that can go there. I mean, originally, that wasn't supposed to look like that, but it ended up looking like that. So, I mean, what can you do, eh? Right, I'm doing loads and loads of different bits and bobs at the same time, and this is probably leading to a fairly confusing, a fairly confusing setup. But I think, I think, you know, you're smart cookies, you can follow along. You get the picture, okay. Let's get this all linked up over here like so. Let's get this somewhere. Sure, I guess that's okay. Let's raise the roof. He says very confidently and then realizes that raising the roof just isn't allowed uh, in this specific circumstance. So let's do that instead. Grand. And then we want to get a little a little vat outside the front of each of the fields. Four fields, maybe five fields. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. I tell you what though, grass is just like free real estate, isn't it? It really is. And then this is going to come all the way down here, just like so. And it's going to come right on in, connect up over there as soon as we get ourselves. Wonderful, a door. And it lines up. It lines up perfectly. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, so the grass is going to grow slightly faster uh, for the green stuff than it does for the red stuff, but that's okay. This is going to be assigned as a green, uh, what you might call it? A green vat. Perfect. And let's get the sucky things lined up. There we go. And that's going to suck into... Suck into green right over there. Fantastic. Okay, this is looking and feeling pretty darn good. So that's going to be all of the green grass production. No, the green grain production from the green grass. There's a big difference there, obviously. Uh, green grain production from the green grass... And now what we need to do is find a location for the factory. Um, over here, I guess. Sure. The factory, by the way, is going to be the factory that refines from... No, it combines the grass... Uh-oh, this is, this is not long enough. It combines the, the, the two types of grass together in order to get grain. No, the two types of grain together in order to get grass. Why would they, why would they be called grain and grass? I, I don't get it. Uh, you can be on skip every one because that's not super important. All right, this is just ridiculous. Okay, so it's gonna come. This is gonna come round here like this, round here like this, and round into here like so. Yes, can't interfere with too much else that's going on round here. That goes in there like that. I know I should probably speed up the. Uh, the speed of the transport thing, but that's okay. It's, it's okay. Anyway, so we're going to have a vat right over here, and it's going to be a suck-up vat. And we're also actually going to need, technically, a second... a second line, although maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this with the same train. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a novel approach. Not sure that I've ever attempted this. Maybe I'll never attempt it again after it miserably fails. What I want to do, I want to do that over there like so, and I'd like to get that in there like that. So, theoretically, we should be able to pick up... Skip every one? Yeah, so skip every one. Go the other direction. Let's have a look to see if this actually works. Oh my goodness, it seems to be working like an absolute ch charm, like an absolute dream. Okay, wowzers, that works fantastically. Okay, pause whilst we get this uh, this area in order. Okay, so I want you to only accept red grain. And that will be, that will be orange, grand. And then subsequent to that, we will have a suck up station over here. Both of these... Dudes are going to have connectors. That is going to be orange. That is going to be blue. That can be blue. Perfect. Okay, great. So let's see if that if that works as intended. Now this needs to only suck up red grain. No, green grain. Right, green grain. So only going to suck up green grain over here. How are my capacitors doing, by the way? Am I producing enough capacitors? Am I shipping off enough capacitors? I don't think I am shipping off enough capacitors. 
the capacitation rate at which I'm shipping is is not good enough. Yeah, this ain't good. This ain't good. Why is why is this not going in? Why is this not going in? Why are my rockets not working? What the heck is happening here? Where is my... Where are my rockets? Grant a weight revenue bonus by 5 million? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. What the heck is happening here? What is going on? Is this a save glitch? I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Uh, where is it? I'll just try putting them down again, just to just to make sure. Yeah, not entirely convinced that I know what the problem is over here. That seems to sort of have fixed things a little bit. Except it hasn't actually fixed things a little bit. There we go. I, I think I replaced that with the wrong, uh, the wrong belt, actually. Okay, so... Has that situation sort of resolved itself? Certainly looks like we're using more capacitors now, which is always... Which is always good. That's positive. Nice. Okay, let me go back over here and uh, and get to work over here. Sure. Give me give me a bunch of power poles. That's grand. Okay, that's a bunch of money that's coming in. That's great. Let's get some combiners. Let's get some combiners. This looks good, by the way. This looks very, very good. Okay, so combiners are going to go right over here. Yep. Yep. And that is actually the perfect place for them to go. I mean, six probably seems like overkill, to be honest. Also, you know what I should totally do? I should totally just take the advantage that I have, which is having a very, very nearby... A very, very nearby... Uh, water tank. So I'll just take the opportunity to reduce the costs. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Let's get this set up. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. And that was wrong place. It's fine. Can always try again. And that goes right there. Okay. Now we need to just make sure that we don't stick any of these pipes in the wrong place. Uh, yep, like I was just about to until the the video game warned me otherwise. All right, I think that's everything, right? No, it's not. It's not everything. That's right. I knew there was something off, and that's there as well. Okay, turns out that I missed a fair few bits and bobs, but that's fine. Uh, so now, 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 all we need to do is we need to stick down a massive, massive tank. We need to stick down a little remote connector. Remote connectors, by the way, they do seem rather overpowered. Rather, rather overpowered. Don't get me wrong, I love things that are overpowered. Heck, it helps me play the game a heck of a lot easier when I know that whatever I'm, whatever I'm dealing with is, is very, very overpowered. But it does does feel a bit wrong, you know? Right. Add a bunch of minecarts. Let's get, uh, let's get labs just set up, like, over here or something. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do, let's do this. Do that, and then that'll give us sort of a better place to, to put labs. Yep, and yep, just like so. I'm not even going to bother with tanks, to be honest. I'm just going to... That was the save game that messed up that placement. Oh, this is... So... Oh, no, I've done it. I've done it so unbelievably wrong. 
That's actually embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. Ridiculously so. Right, build out the build out the track in the first instance. Then, potato, you literally cannot mess it up. You cannot mess it up. Okay. So one back from that. Cool. Lovely. Wonderful. 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 Suck up. Suck up. Suck up. Suck up and suck up. Is that going to take us over our power threshold? I don't think so. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so that should work pretty darn well. We've got a bunch of resources, a bunch of mixed grain that we're ready to feed into these research, um, these research thingamabobbers. And I hope that we've got enough mixed grain to keep to keep it coming. I, I don't know if we will, though. I, I have absolutely no idea if we will. Ah, also, that's a problem. It looks like only half of our refiners have actually been working. How are we doing? How are we doing money-wise? Are we doing okay money-wise? Uh, I mean, we're not doing we're not doing super duper great, but I mean, rockets definitely the way of the future. Let's be real. Let's be real. Man, look at this. Yeah, ethanol. I'm really not entirely convinced that e that using ethanol is a good a good use of resources, to be honest. Yeah, let's not... Let's not worry about that for now. Let's not, uh... Let's not use ethanol. Let's instead try and use... Let's instead try and use crude oil, if we can. Okay, crude oil is blue. There we go. Yeah, use crude oil instead. It's a much more, it's a much heavier resource. Much, much heavier. Nah, sorry, not oil, crude, uh, yeah. But I mean, gold fuels, steel plates, and capacitors are still the best, so. Let me take a little, a little look over here. Yeah, we need to get, um, we need to get coal moved around. I'm super unhappy about the way in which coal processing is, is happening. Yeah, we need to do, we need to do better on that. We need to do better on that front. Uh, what's the best way that it gets transported? I mean, maybe with... Is there a... There is a train on this, and it takes... Yeah, we've already got... Fairly large draw on our coal. Let me... Let me see. Let me see where this train goes. It comes all the way down over here. Um, what's not to say that it comes into the factory? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got a fantastic, brilliant, beautiful idea. Okay. Bring... Bring this down like so. And put a little, there we go, a little sort of transfer station right in the middle here. And then back to height, and then across and back to there. Okay, so go the other direction, would you? Let's, let's see if this actually works. Let's see if this actually works and just sort of gives us that little bit more that little bit more coal. I think it will. I think it actually will. And that should mean, theoretically, that we are going to take better advantage of the fact that we've got loads and loads of production over here. And loads and loads of coal production over here that we're just not utilizing uh, to the best of our ability. So, we gotta fix it. We gotta gotta fix it. And I should probably, honestly, change the... Yeah, change the direction of this train. There we go. So now we will fill up from this factory first. First things first, we'll fill it up over here, and then we will fill up from the back uh, from the backup storage, and that should that should work just like so. Wonderful. Okay. I mean, that's going to take a little while to come good, 
but when it does, it should be excellent. Let's add on two extra carriages as well. I mean, that just seems like the right thing to do. Long, ridiculously long trains seems, uh, seems in order. Seems to be in order. Absolutely. Yeah, very, very happy with that. This whole setup, I think, is, uh, is gonna improve. It's gonna improve dramatically over time. Capacitors, though, I mean, shipping off more and more capacitors definitely needs to kind of be a priority. Yeah, we're we're a little, we're kind of overproducing. We're overproducing green grain, destroyed contents. Yeah, we're overproducing green grain at the moment, which is a bit of a bit of a bummer. Bit of a bit of a bummer. Uh, is there anything that we can do about that? Not particularly. At least we know that we always should theoretically have at least one carriage filled with, uh... Filled with grain. I tell you what, I should just circularize this, shouldn't I? There's no reason not to. If I can fit a... Door in the corner here. There we go. That seems to save a heck of a lot of time. There we go. That'll make a massive difference. That'll make a huge difference. Great. That's really, really good. Okay, wonderful. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not super convinced that that's that that that, that that's the the sort of be all and end all. But at least that is, that is the situation that we have at the moment. You only accept ethanol. Now you're going to accept oil. We're at 27, we're at 27,000 kilograms. Uh, 27, yeah, 27,000 kilograms. And it's just not enough. It's just not enough. How are we doing capacitor-wise? We have got a ridiculously large number of capacitors. So much so that we are, we are full. We are full on, like, gold output. I think we need to try and get another capacitor, like, roots. Maybe we sort of refill... Maybe we refill and restart the extra capacitor train, which we used to have. I mean, it's not ideal, but... No, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's not ideal to, to use uh, an, inefficient, an inefficient resource like this. In fact, maybe we just stop, like, shipping gold fuel all the way over here. Because, I mean, rockets give a 45% weight and revenue bonus. We are sort of just throwing money away because of the fact that we don't ship our... We don't ship our gold fuel off-world, if you'd like. Uh, I mean, that is something that we could change. That's very much something that we could change. The only thing is... It is kind of ridiculous how far away our rockets are from everything else. From everything that is meaningful. Yeah. Well, let me check how steel plate production is going. It looks to be... Looks to, looks to be going well. I'm gonna need to increase storage of this here, though, haven't I? There we go. So do that. There we go. Up to 16... 16 carriages long. Sure. Wonderful. Great stuff. Great stuff, my friends. So that should mean a heck of a lot more steel plateage going on. I mean, steel plates, really, we don't have much of an excuse as to why we're not shipping them off-world. Look at that. That's 31,000. That's 31,000 without us really even trying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we should, we should be doing better than this. We should be definitely doing better than this. Okay, did I remove this crude oil output? I did, yeah. I removed that crude oil I put. Okay, so let's try... Let's try and move steel plate production off-world. So let me follow this train back. Take that out there. Yeah, fine. So... In fact, you know what? We'll take that one out as well. Great. 50 grand. 50 grand a pop. These things aren't cheap. Let's wait until all of the remaining bits of steel plate have been shipped away. That shouldn't take that long, to be honest. 
Shouldn't take that long at all. Should be happening any time now. Uh, so that'll happen. Great, 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 great. The train needs to disappear. Uh, and that you're going to refill over there. Uh, uh, I hope you're not going to overfill. Also, let's clean up. Let's clean up all these hoppers. Since they are now no longer necessary. There we go. You know, clean up after yourself. That's what they always say. Right. And then delete that right over there. Delete this bit of track. So at least I'll try and remember. We're not going to refill this steel plate area any further. And instead, what we're going to do is we are literally going to loop this track around the opposite direction. So. We're going to loop around over here. And then we're going to try and put in place this bit of track. But we're going to need to wait until this train is finished in order to deploy it. Am I really that bothered about this train? Uh, kind of am, kind of amt. Kind of amant? That's not really a term. Coal train's looking good though. Yep. Happy with that. Can we get any more... Ooh, can we get any research points actually? 21 mixed grain. Mixed grain. 21, 20, 20... Great. What do we need in order to get our last bit of research? I can't even remember what it was. 300 and 18,000. Well, we've, we've stormed past 18,000, so that's fantastic. Uh, this is going to be removed. Let's get this track removed in its entirety. Because it's now no longer... It's now no longer needed at all. There we go. There we go. Take it all back. And this can be our rocket launch pad. This can be our rocket launch pad. And how are we going to do this? Like, what's the setup that we want to deploy? I mean, we need to make sure that we have a little bit of a space between them. So as to fit a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of machine crate things in here. Yeah. Is that even? That is pretty darn even. Right. Okay. We still leave a little bit of crude oil on the plate, which is not ideal, but that's fine. Uh, let's disconnect that, disconnect that, and... In fact, actually, no, let's not do that. Reconnect... Reconnect that, and reconnect that. Just disconnect this, 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 this. Yeah, fine. Because we can turn on, we can turn on ethanol shipping very, very soon indeed. Where's all of our crude oil coming at the moment? It's not really coming very fast, that's for sure. Doesn't matter though. Okay, the train is officially gone. We can delete the, delete the track, which is grand. Uh, delete this delete that little uh, little cart thing in fact we might get that cart back but we'll get it back later let me let me just do let me do what we need to do right now okay fantastic and fantastic Keep it coming, chaps. Keep it coming. Okay. Down to level one. And... We'll... Do... Oh, I guess we'll do something like this. Yeah, get that at level two. Sure, we can do... We can do a nice traditional snake design across the world. This doesn't feel very efficient, but I guess kind of we're getting there. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? Uh, okay. No, this is this is this is bad. This is terrible. This is absolutely awful. Right. What I actually want to do is I want to get a bit of track that runs perpendicular to this track, except I want it to be at level two for as long as possible. Then we'll bring it down to level one. There we go. And round here. 
just like so. Fantastic. Suck up into there. Grand. Output into there. Perfect. Do we need any more crate makers? I don't think we do. I think this is this is completely fine. And then let's just make sure that everything gets connected up appropriately. I mean, this is steel plates for goodness sake. So this is kind of ridiculous. We need a lot of a lot of steel plate shipping capability. There we go. There we go. And let's get the claws in place. Is that is that even? Does that work? I think it kind of does. Well, that definitely doesn't work. Okay. And then let's try... Let's try this. Right. I'm still not entirely convinced that I've got a good design on these, uh, on these lines, but that's uh, fine. On these claw train lines, that is. Right. Pick up points. Yep. And yep. Okay, let's uh, let's see this. Let's see this in action. There we go, as many as possible. And I'm gonna try turn the train around just to make sure. Yeah, see, this is this is bad. This is bad. We've got over over uh, over production of of the steel plates right now, and that is that is not good for anyone. That is bad for absolutely everyone. We need to make sure that we are always fulfilling demand for the steel plates. Because the steel plates are, are what's going to help us make our, our millions here. Which is why... Which is why I sort of suggested... Maybe we'll just keep this track right over here. It does actually form a little bit of a useful purpose. In that it allows us to use... Oh. There we go. It's just meant for three. Uh, it allows us to use sort of our over, our overproduced, our overproduced uh, thingamabobbers, steel plates. It allows them to store, store, uh, store them externally, which is really, really great. Let's get a. Excuse me, what's going on here? Ah, yeah, yeah I see what's going on. There we go. That's fine. And of course, it would be a really clever thing to get uh, to get claw trains, to get claws on the train line. There we go. What do you know? It's like it works. It works an absolute dream. It works a charm. It works a dream. I think I think this steel plate train might have too many steel plates on it for one single. For one single rocket. I think we're going to be able to get a second rocket out of this. Huh. Can you believe it? Well, that's quite something. That is quite something. Well, what we're going to do over here, right, is that we've got our external production of, uh, of steel plates looking pretty darn good, I must say. Our external production, our external storage. It's external storage, not external production. There's a big difference. Okay. Now, let's keep it at level... I don't want to keep it at level 1. Level 1 is stupidly inefficient. Let's bump it up to level 2. And then... Bump it up to level 3. That there. And let's sidestep. Sidestep the pole. And bring this... Parallel to our already existing... Our already existing line right over here right over there and right over here is this gonna work because what I'm kind of looking to do oh my goodness it works perfectly what I'm kind of looking to do is exactly that to be honest because what we're gonna do is we're going to reload this train as we go along so, we're going to put down a second rocket station right over here. And maybe even a third, actually. Okay. 
about the same distance apart. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. About the same distance apart. Right over there. Great. Suck up. And we'll just have the same sort of crate maker setup that we had. Oh, whoops. Why does the game not like when I place uh, crate makers down? I don't know why. There we go. And then the load station. All the way in there. Claw trains. Okay. Drop, drop, drop. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Okay, grand. Let's uh let's see it in action, shall we? Alright. And there we go. Okay, we need to make sure that we add a whole bunch of carts over here. As many as the sort of short length of track will allow. I think that's about as far as we can go and about as many carts as we need. We can always move these power stations should we need to, but I'm not particularly bothered about doing that right at this very moment in time. So let's not concern ourselves with that reality. Uh, there we go. I still think, I still think we're going to need an extra, an extra output for, uh, for steel plates. Yep, I straight up think we will. Yep, add more carts. I, I really don't think that we're going to have enough, uh, enough storage for steel plates. We just make them so darn fast. We just make them so darn fast. Also, we're definitely going to need more storage for steel plates over here. Yeah. This is like one of my favorite mechanics, the sort of train or sort of minecart to minecart transfer. I really I really like it. Uh capacitors, how are we doing for capacitors? I mean, oh my goodness. We've just got far too many capacitors as well. Uh, we've just got far too many capacitors. I think we need to get another capacitor line as well. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right now. Give me a door right there. Yeah, this is going to be a very sort of quick and dirty capacitor line here. Ooh. This should be possible. If I insert that over there. Grand, it is. Uh. Okay, hold on. That's possible. Can I get uh, can I get this piece to go in over there? Oh my goodness, that actually works. That's that's great. Uh, so that can go there like so. That can go there. That can go there. Okay, we're making we're making this work. We're gonna go through what is perhaps the most congested area in the game in order to get to in order to get to the capacitor the capacitor rocket that we're gonna build. This track is not needed, I believe. By the way. Honestly, I have no idea how I'm keeping track of all the track. <laughs> no idea how I'm keeping track of all the track. There's just something that tells me where the tracks that are that are used need to go. I don't know what it is, though. Okay. And I'm going to try and implement a similar sort of system over here that we had over over here. Yeah, we're going to try and get a just a little refill station. It's going to have to be out over there. That's fine. And we'll try and make this work. Okay. It goes in there like that. That's drop off. That's pick up. And this can come out here. Grant. Okay. Let's do it. 
Is that length of track sufficient? No, it is not. We'll add a little bit of extra extra more track. Extra more track. That's that's always that's always good grammar, good English. Uh, and over here we're going to have a green spout. And that's going to be a drop-off point right over there. Fantastic. Okay. Hold up. I see a flaw in the matrix. I gotta fix a flaw in the matrix. Right. Yep. And... Yep. Perfect. Okay, you can run in the other direction for a little bit just to come back and pick up the, the extra capacitors that we've got. And that should mean that we've got way, 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 way more capacitors being shipped off, which is fantastic. Yeah, that's really, really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, how are we doing with steel plates? Are we overproducing, underproducing steel plates? Um, to be honest, we're not really doing either. Seems like we're, we're in a pretty good place with regards to steel plate production. Yeah, I'm pretty darn happy about it. As happy as I can be about it anyway. That needs to come further across here. There we go. So we can take advantage of the extra the extra carts. How are we doing for weights? 20,000? Honestly, it's a little bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing. Yeah, I think we need um, we need to do better than that. We need to do better than that, and I'm not entirely sure why we're not doing better than that. Okay. Hold on a second. Could do with getting this. Run in the other direction for a second, and we'll just uh, we'll just make sure that we're f as full as we possibly can be. Grand. I mean, we're producing crude oil with fair regularity, I believe. I don't think we've got any issues with our crude oil train. No, it all looks it all looks totally fine, totally legitimate. No issues there whatsoever. We don't have any sort of production delays over at the crude oil zone, do we? Got a little bit of gold over here. A little bit of iron over there, that's fine. Crude oil is fine, crude oil is fine. Fine, fine. Ah, there is a little bit of crude oil over here. And the minecarts are already as long as they possibly can be. The trains are always, are, are all almost as, uh, I mean, they're already full, is what I mean to say. And that's a little bit irritating, because that means that there is no hope of adding on an extra couple of carriages and making a difference there. Uh, well, technically there is. I could, I could increase the length of the trains. I could increase the length of the trains. I could do that. Steel, steel uh, thingy production. Yeah, we're doing fine for that. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. We're getting on top of steel plates, which is which is just grand. Yeah, very very happy with that. The coal coal production has finally been sort of, well, destroyed in this area anyway. Yeah, that's grand. That's grand. I'm I'm glad I'm glad that it's sort of been reassigned and we're now we're now taking better advantage of uh, of all of our coal production. That is quite nice. However, it's pretty irritating that we just haven't been able to just get to uh, get that get that sort of get that sort of little extra kick that I think we need. I mean, gold fuel. We are making a heck of a lot of gold fuel. We really are. It is a lot. We got a lot of the stuff over here. Yeah, look at this. We we've not got we've not got enough not got enough carts on this on this train to, to get by. Uh, let me let me get the next level and the level after that if I possibly can, please. Yeah, let's go over to our research labs and just claim some more points. There we go. Okay, wonderful. Ten claw trains per track. Nah, not really bothered to be honest. Not really bothered as much as... Okay. Yeah, go the other direction. 
go the other direction for a little bit. See if you can pick up what needs to be picked up. Maybe it's a little bit of a frivolous mission, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot nonetheless. Okay, twenty four thousand is our current our current weight output. I mean, I think that, I think that we can do better. I I know that we can do better. It looks like we're getting whatever resources that we have coming in. We've got them going out as well, which is great. That's really really good. Yeah, pretty happy about that. That over there. Let's start construction of a brand new, brand new rocket pad. Does that did that have any knock-on effects? No, apparently not. That's grand. Perfect. Uh, take that back. I don't. I just want to make sure that it's always connected, just so that we don't have any issues. Uh. Yep. And gonna stick down this. That. That. Alrighty. So that is gonna be our third extra rocket for this episode, I believe. Okay, that's ridiculous. And instead, what we need to get is the load station. Fantastic. Load station and... Where's the rocket? I never I never remember where the rocket actually is. There we go. So that goes in there like so. Let's get the claw train set up. The claw train set up, by the way, I'm pretty sure there is a more efficient way to do it. But uh, I don't... I don't think there necessarily needs to be one that it needs to be one that we use. I think um I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's totally fine. Okay, let's get a suck up station right over here. And there we go. That that's uh that's that's how we do it. That is how we do it. Let me take this up and take this round. That should make just that little bit of extra difference. Let's bring this train up to a 26 train carriage train long. Goodness me, we've just got so many steel plates. We've got so many steel plates that we're we're outputting at the moment. Yeah, it's just not it's just not good enough. We're just not outputting enough enough steel plates. We're moving the we're moving the transport. Uh, we're just moving the transport too far. I think the transport of the resources is just taking way too long. Yeah, also gold, gold, gold just sort of, I really do feel like I could, like I could do a bit better with gold if we just, if we just transferred, transferred the sale to, to with rockets, but, um, but no. Okay, this, this train needs to become way longer. Yeah, way, way longer. And this train needs to become way longer as well. So as we can actually take advantage of the fact that we've got a gazillion, bazillion, Brazilian capacitors. Each and every one of them of Brazilian nationality, by the way. Each and every one of them. Okay, let me just check that I've got the right length of track here. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. That's fine. Uh, where is the... Where's the other capacitor train that we're currently running? Also, it's not anywhere near large enough, the storage, that is, for the capacitors. There we go. Do that. That'll make a difference. At the moment, though, we're only running one single rocket pad with capacitors. I feel like that's something that we got to change, right? We gotta change that. Huh. Hold on. I've just had a I've just had a brainwave. 
can do that. And then what we can do is we can do this. Move a few bits and bobs around. A little bit of extra capacitor capacity. That's right, if you know what I mean. Capacitor capacity. Am I right? Okay. Okay, that should make a bit of difference. Okay, finally. I feel like feel like I might finally be getting the better of the better of all of my vast complex array of production devices. It sounds nefarious, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, it does it does feel a little bit a little bit staggered at the moment. And I do think maybe we should have... Oh, maybe we should... Maybe we should... In fact, you know what? I don't think... Um, no, we do have trains over here at the moment. Maybe I should bring back... Maybe I should bring back the capacitor train, honestly. Maybe I should bring back the capacitor train. I think I am actually going to bring back the capacitor train. Because the crazy thing is... The crazy thing is... I'm going to bring it back, but I'm going to bring it back in a different place. The crazy thing is that even though... I think... We're transferring most of the capacitors out into the rockets. We're just not. We're just not. What I'm going to do... I'm going to run... I'm going to run this extra track down over here. And then we're going to use that as an opportunity to get a brand new... A brand new track... That's right. And we're going to ditch all of this. We're going to ditch all this setup. Because this setup is not close enough. Not close enough to where I would like it to be. And we can afford to be a little bit more... What's, why is this not working? Can't build here? Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is this not going to work? Okay, but I built one there before. Right, okay. Well, I, I can't say I'm... I, I, I don't know if I'm surprised or not. I mean, this is... This is surprising to me. I'm perturbed. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, it's, it's not long enough. I thought I thought I had the perfect distance there. Okay, reset, try again. This this train is going to clean our capacitors out, for sure. There is absolutely no way that that doesn't happen. Right, wonderful. So, let's also get train spawn time to decrease. Or, let's get it as soon as we possibly can, that is. Uh, yep, so we need to have an exit for this train. I would quite like... Quite like this to move across here, just a smidgen. There we go, and down here, just like this, train track exit. Boom, just like this. Just like this, just like that. Right, so I want to get a single fill-up station. A, sing a single fill-up station, you know what I mean, a train loading silo, single train loading silo. And link that to a big loading silo. To be honest, it could be three things away. Yep, big loading silo, which is connected to a suck-up point. And that suck-up point works just like that. Perfect. To be honest, I kind of want to keep it a little bit shorter, if at all possible. Because we know that there's a limit... Yeah, we know there's a limit right there, and it's four carriages. That is that is what the limit is, and so we know not to go over that. There we go. Great. Fantastic. So just like that, we should have... We should have a system that, uh, that works. Okay, yeah, the train did actually come and go, but that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll have we'll have more opportunities. 
a lot more opportunities for that. Okay. Right, whoops. Uh, yeah. Fix this. Okay, great. So that's going to be a large, large drawdown on our capacitor, our capacitor reserves, which is great. There we go. 25,000 is the weight output. I mean, we are slowly but surely losing money. Ever since we ditched our trains, we've been, we've been losing cash. I didn't add claws to this line. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. It kind of makes sense now how we were losing all of our money. But anyway, this is pretty darn good, isn't it? This is pretty darn good. Well, I'm very, very happy with this. I'm not very happy about the fact that we probably have, yeah, an overflowing tank of steel right over here. Uh, yeah, that's that's not ideal. That's not ideal. Because this... Because this is taking such a darn long time to fill up, it takes a longer time to... Because this is taking a longer time to sort of like stop and start at each of these stations, it takes a longer time to get anything done. Which is not good, in fact. Not good at all. Not good at all. Now, can I... Can I ditch this and can I try again? Right, let's get this to be brought down here, and let's try and do something like that. Yeah, that would work, that would work, but it's, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a pickup point right over here, but it only connects to straight track. That's, that's immensely frustrating. And so I was thinking, hey, I could get a... a thing in over here. It's so darn loud over in this area, isn't it? Right, well, you know what? We're just gonna have to... We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to compromise. We're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to get this in here. Get a suck up station in here, and in fact, you know what? I've got it. I've got it. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. That's gonna come in there like that. Try again. I'll I'll show you what I'm gonna do in just a second. Just wait for it. Wait until this train clears the area. We ditch that pickup nozzle right there, and we move the pickup nozzle to right over there. I then take the opportunity. Oh, that was stupid. That was very stupid, and I definitely didn't click anywhere near those tanks. Definitely didn't click anywhere near those tanks, which is why I kept on doing it, as opposed to not doing it. Okay. Okay. Yep. And yep. Alrighty. That's looking good. Hold on. Come back again. Come back. So, now, what we're doing is we're basically just going to be... We're basically just going to be taking advantage of the fact that all of our... All of our all of our resources will be shipped in remotely, and then we will collect them and stick them on stick them on this train, and just ship them off to wherever they need to be shipped off. And that will theoretically allow us to use somewhat of a smaller train in order to get all this stuff done. Is it going to be quicker? I think so. I think so. I hope so. Add a few more carts, see if that makes any difference. And I also think maybe we want to just have as many output nozzles as we can. Oh. 
Am I bad? There we go. Yeah, so theoretically that might uh, that might speed proceedings up just a smidgen. It certainly should mean that over here we're getting rid of more steel. It actually doesn't look like it is at the moment, but uh, I'm sure that'll change. We're up to 35,000. I mean, that's pretty darn good, isn't it? You can't really complain about that, can you? I tell you what we could do. I tell you what we could do, which would which would probably make the difference. Let's literally get a series, a, a short series of, like, minecart tracks. So we literally will have... Uh-oh. It, it was all going so darn well. There we go. Do that. So we have a s series of tracks. Uh, ditch that. Ditch that. There we go. And now we have two, right? Fantastic. And then we have a third one over here. Which maybe can only carry one. Actually, what am I talking about? We just extend this out. Yeah, we literally just do that. Uh, and then move the drop point to right over there. Change this around. Yep. Little tweak here and a little tweak there. We'll get it. We'll get it working just fine. Oh, look at this. This is working an absolute charm. Look at this. This is brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. Okay, I mean, 37,375 is just about the max that we could possibly get. Also, something else, which I haven't yet acted upon. Uh, I was going to get a, another rocket launch pad right over here. What I was going to do, actually, is do this. Do this. Goodness gracious me, that is outrageously loud. There we go. So I was going to get a second sort of capacitor only unload station, uh, unload station, uh, rocket launch ship thing. Okay, that disconnected that little outpost over there. Fine. There we go. I am conscious of the fact that I am losing money fairly rapidly. Must have a lot of launch pad in proximity. Oh, come on, really? I mean, they are pretty, pretty in proximity. Uh, that's not possible because it's just not long enough. That is exactly long enough. Perfect. That's the exact wrong type of bit that I needed. But you get the you get the picture. You see what's going on. There we go. Uh down, 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 up, 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 claw, claw, claw. Brilliant. It works. It works. Okay, so that is the second sort of capacitor rocket. Technically, I believe we could add like a, we could add as many as we wanted to really. And that might indeed be what we do. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe that's how we maybe that's how we reach our goal. Thirty-eight thousand. I think it. I think it actually straight up is. I think that's how we reach our goal. Certainly, we could do with adding some more. Some more steel plate storage. That definitely seems like something that we could do. Also, I'm not taking advantage of the fact that my train is super long, and I should be. Great. How are we doing? Iron and coal supply. Iron uh, coal supply is not actually as large as it needs to be. 
That's because this coal area is pretty darn inefficient and is not uh, is not churning all of the coal ore into coal as it needs to be. But that's that's fine. It's not not doing it all, but it's uh, it's okay. We don't really need to worry about it. I mean, our steel plate situation is 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 pretty darn good at the moment. I would say. I mean, most of the time, we seem pretty ready to load the pad contents onto the onto the rocket as soon as it's as soon as it's time. Right. So let me see if I can get some more. Man, that's it's quiet. It's nice. See if I can get another couple of tanks over here. Oh, plenty of space. Plenty of space. I don't even know why I was worried. Right. So it may look like we've got uh, just a few capacitors. But in actual fact, because the resources are spread across so many different storage tanks, we actually have a ridiculously large number. go. I finally, finally mastered the art of knowing exactly where the rocket launch pad can be found in the build menu. Isn't that sad? That's going to need to be taken back by just a smidge. Yes, yeah, so the load station's going to need to be that long. Great. Great. And great. Ah, yeah, whatever. Okay. You know what? Why don't I add the claws in the first instance? That always seems like a heck of a lot easier task uh, rather than doing the pickup stops and then trying to click in between them in order to get a bit of a bit of uh, a bit of belt, a bit of belt that's free, a bit of uh, a bit of whatever. What is this? I don't know. Claw train track that's free? Sure, whatever. Jeez, get off my back. Okay, so now we've got all of those capacitors coming along just wonderfully, actually. Just very, very wonderfully. It's looking really, really good. We should have all of the capacitors being shipped out via train as well, right? That's that's the plan. Look at this! We've actually burned all the way through the capacitors. That's fantastic. That's really, really good. So now we should be getting... Oh, man, we've just blown past 40,000. I think this is going to be this is going to be our best month, I believe. I don't think we're going to have enough research points in order to do what we need to do, though. Am I that bothered about the last bit of research? Not particularly. Oh my goodness. There we go. Um, I got it. I got the master the master mission medallion. Well, that's fantastic. That is really, really good. That is the that is the three-month weight output goal that we were looking for. What did we eventually get to? 45,430? Well, let me see if we can sort of beat that over the course of this month. Uh, it just might it might be the case that we have uh, you know a very very particularly good month. I don't know if that will be the case. Who knows? Also, I should just have linked. I should have linked this system up, much like I've linked this system up. There's no reason that we actually have to have these minecarts diddling around in the middle. It's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a waste, to be honest, to have that to have that there. But ugh, it, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Okay, this needs to run in the other direction. Because this, frankly, is an embarrassment. We need to be getting more steel plates out of here. Let me take it back. I'll delete exactly how much track is needed. No! What a shame. I messed it up. You know what? Remove the carts and instead, instead add them to this bit of track. Nope. Add them to this bit of track right over here. There we go, because now I can add them way faster. Fantastic. Okay, brilliant. Uh, will we beat Will we beat the record? Will we beat the record this month? I don't think we will. However, I, I mean, it does look like a particularly good month, actually. We might indeed blow past it, but uh, even if we don't, it's not a particularly big deal. It doesn't particularly matter. A whole heck of a lot of train carriages are now going into the into the tunnel, which is grand. Capacitors, honestly, getting rid of all of those capacitors really is 
really is very cathartic. It feels good. It feels it feels like we actually managed to manage to do it. Uh, grass grass is completely useless. Super unconvinced that grass is uh, a useful component of this build. Tell you what we'll do. We'll no 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to use. I meant to use ethanol. Alright, well I guess we're shipping off grain then. Sure. Sure, ship off a little bit of grain. Have we have we beaten the record? 41,000? I don't think we'll beat the record. Uh, we can ship off a little bit of grain. Sure. I, I did want to try and use ethanol, because we do actually have quite a large amount of ethanol at the moment. So I was thinking, you know what? Maybe we can get rid of it. Who knows? Who knows? And we are completely out of capacitors, actually. We are completely out of capacitors. The rockets have launched. The rockets have launched. That's netted us a, a decent amount of money. And, you know, I think that's just about as good as it gets. We've got the master, the master medallion. I mean, that's not bad at all. This game has definitely got a lot more life in it. I feel like... I feel like I haven't built all of this, even though I know in reality I have actually built all of this. Um, I mean, it it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. It probably doesn't work as well as you would like it to. But I, I can still be immensely proud at what has been built. This is this is glorious chaos. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm I'm really enjoying this game. All it needs is some music because it, it sure as heck doesn't have any at the moment. Um, yeah. This this has been Automation Empire. We're going to wrap this series up. We're probably going to wrap uh, our coverage of this game up for now. Um, I will for sure be returning to this uh, to this game once once things are better, once things are uh, once things are more refined, once there's some more content, once there's uh, once there's some more opportunity for excitement and variety and all of that good stuff. So, uh, so what I mean to say is that this isn't the last that you're going to see of Automation Empire. But, uh, you know, for now, I think having achieved the mission objective, having achieved the mission medallion, the Master Sellers medallion, and, uh, and unlocking almost all of the research bar literally one greenhouse which I, I mean, let's be real, I never cared about farms anyway. I, I certainly don't care about greenhouses since they just apparently increased the farm's growing speed by 25%. Who cares about that? Not me. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna leave this game. Thank you very much to my fantastic patrons who help make uh, who help make videos like this possible. Be sure to check out patreon.com forward slash open potato if you're interested in uh, in uh, in helping out the channel and uh, yeah participating. Ladies and gents, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.